Amen. I am blessed. Amen. Are you blessed? Amen. Watch it out now. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Amen. Praise God. Amen. I said, Praise God. Amen. Again, I said, Praise God. Amen. You are indeed blessed Amen. to be here to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, I want to, to, to take us into something very powerful that will change our thoughts. Hallelujah. Amen. It will change how we think. You have no needs. You just need to grow up. Amen. You have no needs. You just need to grow up. I want you to confess a lot of it. Second, I have no needs. I just need to grow up. That's what we want to navigate tonight. But I want to begin by saying this. We don't want to go line upon line. As long as we are, we are living a life of lack, defeat, failure, and needs. As long as we are living a life of lack, comma, defeat, comma, failure, and the needs after we are born again it is a sign that we have refused to grow after you are born again if every day you are defeated if every day you've got needs if every day you are a failure it means you have refused to grow Hallelujah. Amen. That's the reason why such things are happening around you. Constantly. Hallelujah. Amen. It means somewhere, somehow, you and me have refused to grow. But tonight we are going to grow in the name of Jesus. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When God gave us the Lord Jesus, he also gave us all things Amen. that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. Amen. When you received Jesus in your heart. You received a full package. Amen. 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 I said you received a full package. Amen. So inside every believer is a full package. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything you need for life, everything you need for spirituality is inside Jesus. Amen. Amen. How many have received Jesus? All right. So inside Jesus Christ is all the possibilities of what God has and is. Everything God has, everything God is, is in the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that God has and everything that God is, is inside Jesus. And if you have received Jesus, you have everything God has. And you have everything God is. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are a full package. Amen. I did that again. I said you are a full package. Amen. What God has and what God is <laughs> is inside Jesus. Hallelujah. And inside Jesus is every provision. Second provision. Second provision. Inside Jesus is every provision. Number one, for your physical well being. So inside Jesus, there is the provision for your physical well being. That means your body being healed. Hallelujah. You live in comfortable, hallelujah. It is inside Jesus. When you receive Jesus, you receive capacity to be well physically. Hallelujah. Amen. You receive it. Amen. Number two, inside Jesus is every provision for your spiritual life and dominion. Amen. For your spiritual life and dominion. Hallelujah. Amen. That means for you to live a balanced spiritual life, a 
and a life of dominion, you already have it. Hallelujah. I say you already have it. Hallelujah. So every time, if you are being chased in the dream, you need to grow up. Hallelujah. I say you need to grow up. Hallelujah. Even a dog knows when a lion is sleeping, you don't go near the lion. You are a lion. Hallelujah. I say you are a lion. Hallelujah. How can a lion be sleeping and a dog going near near? A dog correct himself. Hallelujah. Amen. I see demons correct himself in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you grow up, he Satan is afraid of you. Hallelujah. Amen. I say, hey. Amen. <laughs> so inside the Lord Jesus, there is life is spiritual and life for dominion. Hallelujah. Amen. It's there. <laughs> now listen to this. In short, there is nothing God needs to give you again. Amen. I you amen. There is nothing God needs to give you again. Hallelujah. Amen. Say louder. Say, there is nothing, there is nothing. God needs to give me again. Give when you God again. gave you Jesus, He gave you everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, again, everything. everything. Say, louder. Everything. everything. Do you need anything again? No. Do you need anything again? Do you need anything again? No. Everything you need is in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, all this time, when we believe, say, Lord, I need this. You are simply telling God, you never gave it to me. Hallelujah. Amen. But I see you change tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see you change tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. You begin to receive. Hallelujah. Amen. And to work in them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hmm? Amen. I say, hey, Amen. it's like in everything I need has been given already. Amen. It has been given already by God Amen. in the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You are a full package. Amen. I say, a full package. Amen. So there's nothing God should give you again. Amen. Because when He came to Jesus, He gave you all things. It's like in all things. All things. Mm. That will make your physical and your spiritual life colorful. Amen. 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 Everything that you make your physical life and the spiritual life colorful has been given. Hallelujah. Amen. So there is no way I should see you struggle in the name of Jesus. Say again, in the name of Jesus. Amen. No more struggle. No more struggle. Say that, no more struggle. Amen. It has been given. Amen. How many believe they have everything right now? Amen. Say again, I have Amen. everything. Amen. That I need right now. Right now. I believe they have it. Amen. I believe they have it. Amen. Do you have right now the power of God? Yes. Do you need power? No. Kalusia ziata na malaga na ma. Because Jesus is the power of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, "Hallelujah." Hallelujah. 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 Hall you already have the wisdom of God now. Amen. Inside of you. Amen. I say inside of you. Amen. I say inside of you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at 2 Peter chapter 1. 2 Peter 1. Let your eyes rest there. 2 Peter chapter 1. Verses 2 and 3. Or oh, today you'll be blessed. 2 Peter chapter 1. Verses 2 and 3. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. The Bible says this. Mm. First, I'll read verses 2 alone first. <laughs> Look at this. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to want to multiply peace. Amen. Ah, the peace you are living in today, multiply by 100 in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say multiply by hand in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can multiply in the peace. Amen. Hmm? Amen. I say, amen. I say you can multiply in the peace. Amen. Where your house becomes so tranquil, so peaceful. Hallelujah. Amen. Where when people come in your house, they want to sleep. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of the peace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Grace and 
peace be multiplied unto you. Look at this. Through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, he gives us two things. How peace multiplies and how grace multiplies. Hmm? Amen. I say, hey, Amen. grace does not multiply by fasting. And people are fasting for grace. He says, through the knowledge Hello. Yeah. That's hello. Look at this. He mentioned two knowledge. Number one, the knowledge of God. And number two, the knowledge of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I saw the difference today. I've read this verse, but I saw the difference today. The knowledge of God simply means the knowledge of what God thinks of you. There are things God has thought about you, which is in the word of God. So, the knowledge of the things God thinks of you, that's knowledge of God. So, everything God thinks about you is the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. It's in the word. Hallelujah. It's in the word. And then he says, and also through the knowledge of our Lord. That means... Through the knowledge of what Jesus has done for you. Hallelujah. So there's a difference to know what God thinks about you and to know what Christ has done for you. Amen. You may know God loves you. You may know God will protect you. But do you know what he has done for you? Hallelujah. Amen. To the Lord Jesus. Amen. Many people, they know what God thinks about them. But very few people know what he has done for them. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a big difference. You will never function in the fullness of God until you know what he has done for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So the knowledge of Jesus is very crucial. Amen. Many have the knowledge of God, but the knowledge of Christ they don't have Amen. what he has done for them. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look at this. <laughs> mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at this. In Christ Jesus, God made you a son. S O M. You are a son of God. Amen. I need amen. I say you are a son of God. Amen. I want you to amen. I say you are a son of God. Amen. I am a son of God. Both male and female, we are all sons of God. Hallelujah. There's no spirit woman. We are all sons. I want to confess this again. Say again. I am a son of God. I'm going to believe they are sons of God. So in Christ, He made you a son. A son. So you are not a stranger. You are a son of God. Jesus is not the only son of God. We are many sons of God, him being the firstborn. Hallelujah. Amen. He's only the firstborn among the sons. Amen. So again, I'm a son of God. Say so louder, I'm a son of God. Meaning, again, I'm a son of God. Son of God. Son of God. Are you a son of God? Amen. So you need to remember that the knowledge of Jesus demands that you know that you've been made a son. Amen. And every son moves powerfully in the house of their father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they know this is the house of my father. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, every son of God walk boldly. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, walk boldly. Hallelujah. Amen. And make demands in the name of Jesus. I, I see you I see you make demands. Hallelujah. Amen. You make demands over disease. Hallelujah. Amen. You make demands over poverty. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Every son of God is not a beggar. Amen. Confess it. Close it. I say that. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I am the son of God. Amen. I walk in power. Amen. I am a son of the living God. I am the son of the living God. Amen. So inside Jesus, you've been made a son. 
John 1 verses 12. John 1 verses 12. As men as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. Are you a son of God? Amen. Are you a son of God? Amen. Tonight you are going home knowing that you are a son. Hallelujah. Amen. Stop walking as a beggar. Hallelujah. Amen. And walk bold in the name of Jesus. I say, what bold in the name of Jesus. Amen. Enter your house boldly tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Go to sleep boldly tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't fear witches. You are a son of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, so I, I am a son. Of the living God. When you enter a shop, enter in the sun. Hello. Enter like a sun. Hallelujah. Boldly. Hallelujah. Unapologizing. Hallelujah. Second, I'm a son of God. I'm a believe this. That's the knowledge of God, Jesus. You've been made the sun. Number two, inside Jesus. You've been made righteous. 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 Again, I'm righteous. Say that I'm righteous. Some people, the way they talk, we are all sinners. Don't talk like that. I'm not a sinner. I'm the righteousness of God. I'm the righteousness of God. We are all sinners. Uh -uh. Every born again child of God is not a sinner. Every born again child of God is the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Second, like I am righteous. I am righteous. That's a hand. Amen. So that means if you are righteous, God sees you exactly the way you see Jesus. Amen. 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 I say God sees you exactly the way you see Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. How you see Jesus is also how he sees you. Amen. Tell all amen. That's why also he sees you. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no way you can see yourself otherwise. Amen. Second, I'm righteous. I'm righteous. Say loud, I'm righteous. I'm righteous. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verses 21. The Bible says this. For God has made Jesus to be seen. Who knew no sin? Hallelujah. Amen. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. So right now, when God sees you, all he sees is righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you're coming in prayer, don't come in, don't come afraid. Come bold. Because I'm righteous. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't come like a beggar. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't say, Lord, you know I'm just a sinner. Uh -uh. You've been made a righteousness of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are a righteousness of God. Amen. Say, Lord, I'm righteous. Amen. Say, Lord, I'm righteous. Amen. I'm going to convince the righteous. Amen. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. I say, oh, yes, you are. Amen. I say, oh, yes, you are. We are still on Second Peter. I was, I was just uh, uh, explaining this. Look at verses three now. That's where we are, we are going. Verses three, Second Peter one. <coughs> According has his divine power has so again has yes. say loud has he yes. has he given unto us all things? How many things? All How many things? things. How many things? Has that means. Past the tense. Past the tense. God says He has given you all things. He has given you all things. I have all things. Say that I have all things. He has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. Woo! Through the knowledge of Him. I told you. They are transferred through the knowledge of Him. Who has called us to glory and to virtue? Hallelujah. You've been called to a higher life. Hallelujah. Amen. So, according to God, everything you need has been given. Amen. I need to have amen. Everything you need has been given. Hallelujah. Amen. Say loud, I, I have everything I need. Do you have all things you need? 
You don't amen. Do you have everything that you need? Amen. Are you convinced? Amen. As are you convinced? Amen. As are you convinced? Amen. Do you have healing inside of you right now? Amen. Do you have the power of God inside of you right now? Amen. Do you have wisdom inside of you right now? Amen. Are you fully persuaded? Amen. You have everything. Amen. All right. Amen. So God has given us Amen. all things that pertains to life and godliness. But look at this. It said through the knowledge. So I wrote it this way. But they are accessed through the growing up into the knowledge of what you have become. Wow. So can you start? They are, they are given already, but they are accessed. A double C E S S E D. They are accessed through the growing up of the knowledge of what you are. If you don't grow in the knowledge of what you are, you won't access them. Okay. Though you have them. So again, I have them. So that's why God is saying, you know what that means. All you need is grow up in the knowledge. Hallelujah. Yeah. Grow up in the knowledge of who you are. And then begin to access Everything that I've given, hallelujah. Do you know God is very unhappy to see believers suffering, to see believers oppressed when they have got every possibility and every potential inside of them, hallelujah. Tonight I pray for your eyes will open, hallelujah. Amen. I say your eyes will open, hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, you want to access every possibility God has given you in Christ. Grow up in the knowledge. Amen. So that's why I say, come. And CT, hallelujah. What are, what, what, what are we doing? We are growing your right now. Hallelujah. Amen. In the knowledge of Christ. Amen. Hmm. So, the question comes in. If God has given us all things, then why are many believers in need? Amen. If God has given us all things, then why are many believers in need? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Why are you in need? That's why I said you've got no needs. All you need is to grow up. Amen. Because everything you need has been given to you. Hallelujah. Amen. You have it already in the name of Jesus. Yes. The answer is because many are still children. In their mindset. They are not sons. Many believers. Are still children. In their mindset. They are still children. In their believing. They are still children. In their behaving. And way of doing things. Have you seen these things? So how you behave. You behave like a child. How your mind thinks you think like a child. How you believe you believe like a child. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you see? They are still believing for sweet. When the father can supply a cake. Hallelujah. Amen. A child is thinking about chocolate. Mm. To them, it's a chocolate. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I still go in the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. The new king, the house is for the baby, Amen. but the baby can never possess it because he's a child. Amen. Must depend on the mother, hallelujah, Amen. to fill up the water and to shake the new, hallelujah, Amen. and to press on the mouth, hallelujah. Amen. But not the new, not the child. If the child grow up, will just be. Of it. Hallelujah. Amen. I still drink your blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. I still drink your blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. But you must grow up. Yeah. Hmm? Amen. I said, hmm. Amen. I'm going to make a radical statement. Until you begin to behave like a son, God will be committed to you. Amen. Hmm. Until you begin to behave. 
behave like a son, God will not begin to be committed to as a father. Why? Because he's expecting you to act like a son. Amen. I say, act like a son. Amen. How are you going to feel, sir? Your daughter comes in your house and she begins to beg for you. Please, please, I need you. In your father's house, you don't beg for things. Amen. You open the fridge, hallelujah. Amen. And you put the milk and drink, hallelujah. Amen. I see you stop begging in the name of Jesus. Amen. When are you going to be able to see Michael coming to beg for you for bread? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Every beggar mentality is dying in us. Hallelujah. Yeah. I say every beggar mentality is dying in us. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are no longer beggars. Yeah. We are takers. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are possessors. Hallelujah. Yeah. So that's what I prophesy in the name of Jesus that we are possessing this land. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are possessing South Africa. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are possessing the world. Hallelujah. You see, I'm going on TV doing interviews. I'm possessing the spheres. Hallelujah. Amen. First, we are going to start big. Amen. Just watch out the space as we are coming in the name of Jesus. Amen. Second, I possess. I possess. Stop begging. Amen. It makes your father very unpleased yes. to see you beg Amen. when he has provided. Hallelujah. I see you live in higher miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. I see you live in higher miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you know how to possess. Yes. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. So that's why people are still in need. Because God said, I get you. Amen. Stop begging me. Amen. And there are many people who are crying. Amen. Since they went in a prayer room. All they are doing is crying and crying and crying and crying and they say I was praying. It was not prayer. You were joking. Hallelujah. <laughs> Real prayer is not crying. Hallelujah. Real prayer is coming boldly before the Father. Hallelujah. And say, Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Because you're going to, you, you already hate to be like Jesus. Why are you coming like you're begging your father? I prophesy over you. You are becoming a millionaire in the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy over you. You are becoming a millionaire in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, I prophesy on you. Hallelujah. Amen. You are becoming a millionaire. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, go higher. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, go ahead, millionaire. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I said, praise the Lord. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yet they are living life full of needs. Because to possess what you've been given, you need to develop. And you need to grow up. Your inner strength is too small because your strength is connected to your knowledge. Are you getting this? How strong you are inside is connected to how much you know. So, you can never lay hold of bigger things mm. because your inside is too small. Amen. Amen. As a law. So that's the right now. Something is happening inside of you. Hallelujah. Amen. You are already enlarging. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you come for service, you came for enlargement. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh. There is a heart surgery going right now. Hallelujah. Amen. God is enlarging your spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. And giving you capacity to receive everything. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not the God has given, but the capacity is too small. Amen. The knowledge is too small. The revelation is too small. Hallelujah. Amen. You can never lay hold of bigger things because you are too small inside. Amen. If I give you 30 kg, to lift when you are already 5 kg. I'll give you. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to come to 50, then I'll give you 
to 15. Then I'll give you 30. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll get down to 8. And then I give you again 16. Hallelujah. Amen. But in the name of Jesus, I see your mind grow strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Your spirit increases. Also. Hallelujah. Amen. And I see you lay whole things. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to lay hold. Hallelujah. Amen. Some blessing that you have. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I say, hey, Amen. just where you're working is okay for now. Because very soon God will give you own company. Hallelujah. Amen. People are saying, they will say this. I say, God will give you own company. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to develop and you need to grow up. Amen. Why? Because as long as you are a child, the devil will beat you left right center. Left, left, left. Though you've got the potential, you've got the possibilities inside of you. Many, many believers are under oppression of the devil. Not because Satan is powerful, because they are children. Amen. Amen. Look at a child when a child is born. When a child is left with the auntie and the mother is going to work, the auntie will pinch that child and slap that child. Because he's a child. Amen. Though the house belongs to that child. But when the child reach 10, 12, 13, and is lifting some muscles, the aunt begin to run away. Hallelujah. Because the slap will come. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I see you like Hallelujah. And the devil fear you now. Hallelujah. Don't be like a child. You know, right now in England, there is a queen and a king. When a child is born in that house, that child, that child is born a king. You go, you go in prince. But you see, as long as he's a child, they will do everything for him. He's gonna poop in his in his uh, in his uh, diapers, and they'll change the poop. The prince, the prince is being changed the poop. Hallelujah! But the time will come. When it's mature now, it's gonna change yourself. Hallelujah! Amen. It's gonna walk with power. Hallelujah! Amen. It's gonna rule with power. Hallelujah! Amen. And you and me, we are kings. Hallelujah! Amen. And where the world of kings is, there is power. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Second, I'm a king. I'm a king. Mm. Mm. Galatians four, Galatians four, one and seven. <coughs> Galatians four. 1 and 7. Galatians 4. 1 and 7. I'm loving this teaching. Amen. I'm loving this. Amen. Galatians chapter 4, 1 to 7. Look at this. Now I say that the heir or the owner of things, as long as he's a child, the inheritor, as long as he's a child, differs nothing from a slave, though he be lord of all. Amen. Can you see what I just said? A child, the father left three million dollars in the account. Deacon. But because they are children, they can't handle banks, they can't handle the ATM cards. Amen. Their uncle begin to handle their behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. But in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I see you handle your resources. Hallelujah. Amen. You are handling your resources. Hallelujah. Amen. That is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. All these things of people coming crying, please pray for me, please pray for me, is a sign of being a child. Amen. I want you to grow up. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm beginning to pray for people. Hallelujah. Amen. I say, grow up. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why people are lining up on a prayer line. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you mature, you begin to pray for people. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray for neighbors. Hallelujah. I'm praying for your kids. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As long as you are a child, you don't differ from the servant. Amen. Verses 2. Why? But he's under the tutors and governors mm. until the time appointed of the father. That means until when he grow up. Mm. Can you see? Yes. Your miracle is only for you, is only there, waiting for you to grow up. Amen. I say, waiting for you to grow up. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you grow up, 
What was impossible last year is no longer possible. It's no longer impossible today. Why? You've grown up. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you see impossibility, it's a, it's a sign you need to grow up. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you see areas, things are tough. Mm. It's an invitation. Grow up. Hallelujah. Amen. Grow up. Because that issue is nothing when you grow up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I see you receive from God. Hallelujah. Amen. What has provided. Hallelujah. What is a plan? I see you walking in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you develop and grow up, you can no longer be under two thousand covers. Those are demons. Amen. Trying to influence you with thoughts. Amen. When they come, say, No, I club you. Hallelujah. When, no, when they throw it, they say, No, 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 no. Not here. I club it. I throw it down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you are now a mature man. You are now a mature woman. Hallelujah. You are now a grown up person. Hallelujah. That's why I told you last time to say maturity is not the issue of uh, age. You can be 70 years old mm. and one day old in the heart and mind. Amen. Everything can shake you as an hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A child just drop cup and break. It can make you worry. Just a cup. It's a sign that you are baby. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you can buy a new cup. Hallelujah. Are we being blessed? Amen. Are we being blessed? Amen. Hmm? You know that you are, you are, you are still, you, you still need to grow. Mm. Because everything, any small things, you cry. Amen. Hmm? Amen. I say, huh? Amen. Let's see. Even so, we, when we were children, we were in bondage under the element of the world. Can you see, when you are a child, in your mind, in your heart, in your behavior, you have no knowledge of God, you were in bondage. You were under the bondage of the element of the world. Demons are ruling you like a toy. But in the name of Jesus, I see you rule them, hallelujah. Amen. I see you command them, hallelujah. Amen. Because now you are understanding, hallelujah. Amen. Of what you have become, hallelujah. You are a son of God, hallelujah. You are a righteousness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 4. But when the fullness of time was come, that is when we grew up, God sent forth his son, made of the woman, made under the law. This is 5. To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. So can you see? It's a matter of receiving your status quo. You are a son. Hallelujah. I say you are a son. Hallelujah. You got to receive your status quo. You hear something on the on the on the roof. It's, it's, it's time to vibrate. It's not time to pray. It's time to ignore and sleep. Because the sun is sleeping. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, the sun is sleeping. Hallelujah. There was one man of God God used a lot. Charles Finney, fire evangelist. That man when he stood, the power of God was moving. Miracles will happen, just him. So one day, after a crusade, he went to sleep. And he had, he, he had his wake up, he was sleeping downstairs, you know, he was upstairs. Mm. And that night, the wind came into the house. Mm. That shook things, wind, <laughs> lifted carpet, removed things. And then a white being, when wearing white, white, came out of that wind. So, they wake Karina and we cry, Dr. Finney, Dr. Finney. And Finney came out of his pajama. Uh. He said, so it is you, devil, that came. After I done out of doing, put everything in order, I'm going to sleep. Authority. <laughs> you know, it's a son. And indeed, everything went in their order. Amen. It's a very powerful testimony found that in God's generous. Mm. Why? He's now a son. Yes. Some, some will begin to shiver and unite themselves in the, in the trousers just like that. <laughs> but in the name of Jesus, I see walk in power. Hallelujah. I see walk in power. Hallelujah. Just a cat. In the name of Jesus. Yo, 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 yo. You're not my son at all. Oh, my cat. You want to use the name of Jesus? Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. That's hallelujah. Amen. Are we being blessed? Amen. Now, 
I close with this. How can I know if I'm growing up in Christ? Then we close. Well, that's what I say you need to grow up. Now, how? Because if you don't grow up in this as I mentioned, then you can't possess what is yours. You already have it. So how can I know I'm growing up in Christ Jesus? The, these are the signs that somebody is growing up in the Lord. And it, and it has nothing to do with you praying 20, 20 hours a day. There are people who are praying 20 hours a day. They are cowards in their hearts. And they are full of needs. It's not about 20 hours prayer. Uh -uh. No need to pray for 20 hours. 20 hours prayer does not equal to maturity. Yeah. I need that amen. I said 20 hours prayer does not equal to maturity. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm? Amen. I said, huh? Let me show you the sign that you're going in the road. That's the first one. There's nothing better than this first one. I'm going to know you are growing when I see this aspect at, at working. Yeah. Number one, you gain full control of your mouth. This is big, my friend. I saw it clear. You gain full control of your mouth. Hmm? That is how I know you're becoming spiritual. I am a sakata, a malakata. If you are too talkative, I know you see a baby. You, you see babies, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. you see our baby, the devil, even in church. Because she, she, she's sleeping. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> babies, babies, they are talkative. I know you are a baby if you are too talkative. Yeah. One of the proofs that you are becoming spiritual. You control your mouth. Amen. I pray for you tonight. Grace to control your mouth. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know with your mouth you receive from the Lord. Amen. That's why I control it. We people they talk in hell. Do you know why? People talk in hell. That's why they're not, they're not receiving. Look at this. Our life is tough. Now you know. This is now what a problem. Where are we going to go? Now listen to this problem. Where are we going to go? No. A man of faith begin to say, we are praying for proper engineers. Hallelujah. Amen. We are praying for, paper for, 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 for proper water engineers. Hallelujah. Amen. May God help the land park. Hallelujah. No, may, may, may God help the school. Hallelujah. We are speaking like that. Hallelujah. Amen. Here some people are complaining in my country. Now this president now, we sell and we are dying with the meal, meal, meal. They will die like that. Your mouth is how you receive. Amen. Both from God and from the devil. Amen. I I, 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 I don't amen. So Satan is busy doing evil because people are busy talking evil. Jesus. 
Because Proverbs 18, 21 says, Death and life are in the power of your tongue. Ay, 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 ay. So when I'm growing spiritually, I know this. I don't, I don't joke with words. My words are life or death. Hallelujah. So I don't speak death words. Hallelujah. I only speak life. Hallelujah. From today, I declare whatever death you spoke, I cancel it for you in the name of Jesus. I cancel it for you in the name of Jesus. No, you speak life. Hallelujah. That's how you know you're maturing. You put strength on your mouth. Conscious of weights. Conscious of weights. <coughs> that are coming out of your mouth. Yeah. Awareness of what words I utter. Because I know my words can break someone. There are things you can never recover back when they go out of you. Their words. Because once they go out, somebody can be injured. You can injure someone by the way you talk. I'm telling the truth. That's why when you mature, something will begin to happen in you. Before you utter words, you are aware of them. But if you talk anyhow, you are a fool. You are stupid. You are still a baby. Because babies speak what crosses their mind. Oh, I didn't tell the man there. I said, babies speak what crosses their mind. Hallelujah. But when you mature, you put a sieve on your mouth. You put a what? A sieve. You sieve. A, a sieve. You put a watch over your tongue. I said, ah. Those who are working, when your boss comes and this work is tough, you say, I hear you. But let me tell you, you are going to make it. Amen. As a spiritual man. As a man who is mature. And indeed, God will help you. Hallelujah. Because your words gives you access into God. And also your words gives you access into what God has given you. Hallelujah. Amen. The wisdom of God is there to make that work work. Hallelujah. But begin to speak and say, this work will be done. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. When I develop spiritually, I don't confess what I feel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. That's how you know you are spiritual. If all you talk about is how you feel, how you feel, you're in the language. I feel, I just feel, I just feel, I'm feeling, I just feel, 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 you are dealing with the baby. Hmm? I say, huh? Amen. My ears, I, I feel my ear, my ear, I feel it. They say what they feel. Those are dangerous people, they will hurt you. I don't care, me, I just say what I feel. If all you do is tell people what you feel, you hate them. I, I, I'll tell you, 100% you are going to hate people all the time if you tell them your mind. What do you want? You say, let me tell you my mind. Ah, you don't tell people your mind. You wait on the Lord to tell people what God wants them to hear. Because if you tell them your mind, you miss it. The Bible tells us to say, our mouth must minister grace. Hallelujah. Must minister grace. I must be seasoned with salt to speak the word in season. And I'm going to make a radical statement. Especially when I'm upset, it is not time to talk. Amen. This is deep. It will help you. It will solve many problems at work. With people around you. When you, the moment you become absent, gain control over your mouth, control it, and don't talk. You are going to escape a lot of problems. Amen. Amen. There will be a push to speak. 
they will be able to talk. Mm. Satan will pull you because he knows the time you are upset. Mm. Every word you speak, you mean it. And you can carry it and work it in your life. Amen. I say, hey. When I go spiritual, I don't confess what I see. I discipline my mouth not to say what I see. I see my child is in drugs. I don't say this child doesn't listen. I say in the name of Jesus, my child will serve the Lord. Can you see? I'm speaking what I want to see. I'm not speaking what I can see. Hallelujah. I'm, pro I'm confessing and saying, my child will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. My child is going to worship the Lord. I I'm speaking what I want to see. And God will work with my words and change it for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Jesus said, you shall have what you say. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So I know you are developing spiritually. My foot. If your mouth is under the door, are we being blessed? Amen. Let me give you one part of verse about the mouth. James 1 19. Let your eyes rest there. James 1 verse 19. The Bible says this. James 1 19. James chapter 1 verse 19. It's a very, I, I want you to mark it when you go home. Go and go through that verse a lot. Go through it when you go home and throughout the week, go through that verse to help you a lot. Amen. Huh? Amen. James 1 19. Look at this. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. That's, that's not an instruction from the Lord. This is a sign of a spiritual maturity woman or man. They hear fast, but they take time to talk. <laughs> they can even go two days. They haven't responded to that issue. They are still meditating to find the right word. Hello? People do we can't when something comes. They tell them, okay, I hear you. Then go into the mold. Meditation and look for the word Amen. to respond to it because words are powerful. Yes. So the Bible says, Be quick to listen mm. when somebody is speaking, you're sharp, but when it comes to speaking, mm. be very slow. Okay. And sometimes in some conversation, you don't need to utter any words. It was great for Dola. They invited him to a particular meeting of governors. And the Lord told him, Don't open your mouth in this meeting today. So they spoke, they spoke, they spoke, they spoke, and they said, Is there anything? He said, No. Is there anything? He said, No. When they went, they said, Did you offend him? And themselves, they said, Let's give him a land in the best place because they have offended him. The Lord has given him a land. Amen. Hello. Amen. But what did he get? Get, 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 have not received the land. He will be receiving the prime area land. Amen. Because people felt they offended him. Yeah. And they gave him a land. Yeah. I see no talking now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I see no talking now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Number two, then we close. Where did I get this point? Let's go to 1 Corinthians 13. This is living. That's why I got that point number one. You control your mouth. First Corinthians 13, 11, Paul said, When I was a child, I spoke as a child. Can you see that? That's why when you are a child, you talk anyhow. You talk like a child. First Corinthians 13, verses 11. When I was a child, I spoke. So can you see the element of being a child? Is you talk anyhow? I spoke like a child. Number two, mm. I understood like a child. That, 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 that's number two now. Selective hearing. Selective hearing. When you mature, you are selective in hearing. It will come to other people. But when it comes to the word, no selectivity. 
You are selective in hearing. Do you know children? They eat everything. If you leave that bed on the floor, she will eat metal. She will eat feces. If power don't go through her. Same way when you are a child believer, you listen to all pastors as a son that you're a child. As long as it's a broadcast, you are there. It's a sign of a child. Everything which no. Right now, if I give you metal, I put it in your mouth, you'll be upset with me. Because your taste rejects metal. But baby, you put metal. <laughs> I know you are a baby. You are on every broadcast. There's a man of God here. You are there. You are listening. You eat pieces. You eat good things. You eat bad things. When you are mature, the moment you are on a broadcast, any moment of any way, you switch off. Amen. You are mature person. Amen. 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 Selective hearing. Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. You don't feed on every teachings. You are selective. I've already given you the people you can listen to. So don't just do other. If you listen to Copeland, I'm okay. Listen to Clifford Dole, I'm okay. Yeah. But I don't think you have to verify them through scriptures too. Amen. Amen. Like the age of time, we have to verify it. Mm. Because time remains under the scripture. Amen. So I, I'm, I'm trying to show there are certain things I will tell you to say. When you grow, when you mature, you cannot be and let me even give you one of the signs of immaturity. When your pastor comes in your house, you put a channel of another pastor preaching. It's a sign of immaturity. You don't do that. When your pastor enters the house, you put the teaching of your pastor. So if you put your pastor to listen to the pastor preaching there, what are you going to say? And it is not ethical in the spirituality. We are teaching good. That's why we are teaching good. Are we being blessed? As are we being blessed? Amen. Selective what? Amen. John 6, the 3, you know, he says, the spirit is what gives life. John 6, the 3. The flesh profits nothing. But when I get to their spirit in their life. So you, you are quick. You are just selective. When you come to other people that you don't trust in the world, you are selective. But when you come here where the word is sound, other pastors when they stand in the word, we are in the same spirit. You hear with all your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. You hear with all your heart. And including me, I've told you that you verify me in the scriptures. How do I know a child? You hear everything. And I'll tell you that you're a child if everything said about people you believe. There's a I dear dear Deacon, dear Deacon, or dear dear Pastor, dear Prophetess. When somebody talks about somebody, you sit down, you watch, you analyze. You talk nothing until you solidify it. Hallelujah! Amen. That's maturity. Amen. Including pastors have destroyed families through prophecies. I see your aunties are killing you. Amen. And family, I'm telling you the truth. These prophets have, have destroyed families. So called prophecy. Because Jesus Christ, if truly he saw that your mother was one behind what is happening. You just believe you are not saying nothing about it. There are things I've seen myself. I won't mention. I'm just working on it. And there it is. But as the social I was dealing with on Sunday, because that grandma has passed away, so I said that's the spirit. So I mentioned the body. No longer there. And I dealt with it. He says, I understood like a child. Number three, the, the last one. Why did 
dice. And I thought as a child. Number three, when you mature, you carry possibility mentality. Mm. That means everything can be done. There is no mindset that it can fail. You carry possibility mentality. Because children think everything can be done. Children think everything is difficult. No, it's hard, it's difficult that it is. It's difficult that it is. But when you, when you carry the mind of God, you think possibility, you see you get things from people people can't get. Hallelujah. You see you achieve things people can't achieve. Hallelujah. You, because God is on your side. Hallelujah. And things have to wait for you. Amen. Possibility what? Mentality. Amen. I thought like a child. Proverbs 23, 7. As a man thinking his heart. You see. So if you think it's hard in South Africa, it will be hard for you. I pray for you. May you see yourself high in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, there have been some people as they, you can see, even certain prayers don't sound right. One hour, somebody is still mentioning the devil. One hour. You hear many prayers, even of pastors. One now is the devil. The devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil. And though to our side of devil, devil, devil. What are they conscious of? What's the things that are tough for them? The devil is working their life. Time to buy offering, my children.